Hello. Today I'd like to show you the interesting forms of the Mobius strip and the Klein bottle and what it means to be a non-orientable surface. So to do that, I'm going to use models made of yarn uh, because it's easy to manipulate and stretch them as well as it points out that there's an outside with one pattern, this stripey pattern, and that the other side, what you might call the inside, has a more mottled, blended pattern. And so this has a very clear orientation where this side is presenting one pattern and that you can differentiate it easily from this side. So to show a lower dimensional example, we can take this strip that has an obvious red edge and an obvious dark edge, black and gray. And if I keep that flat on the table, we can make a two-dimensional object, a circle that has a red outside and a dark inside. And if we trace around the inside, we always stay on the inside. And if we trace around the outside, we always stay on the outside. And so this is orientable because there are different sides. There's the red side and the dark side. So in order to make this a Mobius strip, we have to bend it through the third dimension by giving it a half twist. And this can't happen if it stays flat in the two dimensions. So that's why we say it curves through the, the third, because it has to lift off the table in order to twist to then put the other side, the red side, down on the table uh, and connect. So I'll sew up this Mobius strip and point out interesting things along the way. So here, when I start, I need to make sure that I've done a half twist so that the same color, I'm not just making a regular circle. So I, when I start here, I have to make sure that I connect the different sides so I don't just make a regular circle. So you can see here, I've done one side in purple. And this is often a point where I mess up uh, making this an actual Mobius strip because if I continue on the side that has purple, it'll just be a circle. So what I have to be careful to do now is connect it to the side that doesn't have purple. So what's interesting here is that even though I've gone around the circle once, I haven't come back to the start point of purple, and I actually have to go around another time covering this red until I'm back and have a complete Mobius strip. So now here you can see I've got the completed Mobius strip. <clears throat> and what's interesting to me is that as you add more material, it gets added equally on both sides. And so the strip grows out from the center. I have a larger Mobius here where you can see that I followed a rainbow pattern, but that it goes out equally from the initial strip uh, that was black. And now this strip that used to have a red side and a dark side now has just one purple side. And it's all the same circuit 
so it can be considered all the same side. And in fact, the face of the strip also now follows that same logic that if you can trace every bit of the surface without picking up your finger, then it must be the same side of the surface. So can we do this for the next level up, right? If you have a tube can, that we made by bending a flat strip around to connect itself? Could we connect a tube in such a way that the outside becomes the inside? And we kind of can, um, but we have to sort of cheat because we live in three dimensions. So in the same way we made this two-dimensional object into a three-dimensional object by going around the corner with the flip in the third dimension, so too we have to make three-dimensional shape of a cylinder into a four-dimensional shape of a Klein bottle by going around the third dimension. Uh, so that's clearly not possible with our three-dimensional materials, which is why this is only a model and not an actual real Klein bottle, which cannot exist in our three dimensions. Um, but I can show you sort of putting it together, right? So here I've got Yankee Doodle, and he's a tube, right? There's a hollow tube. And at the end here, I put some of this fabric that's nice, that shows us a very clear distinction between stripy side and a blended side. And so... If we put this tube together around in three dimensions in the normal fashion, then the stripy side will always meet up with the stripy side, and it'll be the outside, and the modeled side will always meet up with the modeled side, and it'll always be the inside. But I made this hole here so that we can simulate going around the corner into the fourth dimension. And so then when we do that, then I can line up these edges for when I sew them together so that now the modeled side will be contiguous with the stripy side. See, and so then you have something, and then these look the same. And so here I've made a tube that I'm going to connect the two ends so that you can see how a regular tube becomes a closed surface with an inside and an outside. A torus. And you can see that, thanks to this red line, that if I sort of cycle it around, there we go. That it always stays on the stripy side, right? So I can keep cycling the material so that the inside becomes the outside, becomes the inside. But we notice that even this inner part is still showing 
the stripey side out, and we know that that mottled side is inward facing. So this torus is still orientable because there's still an outside and an inside, and they're two distinct faces, even though we can't see the inside because it's obscured by the outside. Uh, whereas the Klein bottle has the modeled surface is mostly obscured, but it's not really inside since we can rotate the object in a way that will let us see it. Uh, so, for example, I haven't secured this intersection uh, in the same way that I have for this Klein bottle. This one, the intersection is locked so that it can't move. But this one, I can even kind of turn that intersection so that you can see some of the modeled pattern. And now that modeled pattern is visible. But again, I hesitate to say that it's on the outside now because the whole point is that these objects don't have an outside or an inside. They only have a side. Uh, so I hope that was interesting and helped you understand a little better about non-orientable surfaces. Uh, any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments and engage however you feel comfortable. Thanks for watching.